you're new to cycling and you're not sure you're getting the most out of your local roads, or you're a very experienced rider who is simply getting bored with doing the same old routes, or you're off on holiday with your bike, here are our tips on how to find it the perfect routes to ride. But what makes the best route? Well, that can differ from rider to rider. For example, some people might want to avoid the very high mountains and others might want to avoid the rough Pave roads of northern France and Belgium. However, there's some attributes to ride which will be universally appreciated. Yeah, quiet roads are one. Nothing kills the buzz quite like traffic. And corners as well, everyone loves a good corner, right? Even if you don't like the feeling of going round them, still it breaks up your ride and keeps things interesting. So how do you find the perfect routes? Well, we're going to show you. Let's start by going old school. Not much beats a good map for finding great roads. Look for a small scale map, smaller than this one ideally, and then pay attention to any information that it can give you. Look for anything showing the height of things. Also, look, pay attention to the size of the roads. Look for little arrows or chevrons showing how steep a road can be. And then on some maps, like this one, really beautiful roads are shown with a green line next to them. All these things can tell you whether or not it's good to ride or not. Now for me personally, I like hills, but not too steep. I like quiet roads, but not too narrow. And most of all, I like corners. This one looks great. Now, you can do all the personal research you want, but nothing quite beats local knowledge. So how do you best tap into that resource? Well, one of the best places to start is at your local quality bike shop. The chances are there'll be some people working there who ride themselves, so they'll be able to point you to the best local rides. Also, it might well be that they organise some rides themselves each week. So if you're lucky, they'll even invite you out on one of those. Now, in a similar vein to your local shop, your local club is also a great way of finding the best roads. So just get onto Google and search for either a club that's local to you now or in fact where you want to go and then just hook up with them. Now the old school traditional methods are fantastic but let's face it in this modern digital world of ours there's some cunning new ways to find some cool routes near to where you live or near to where you're about to go training. Garmin Connect is an obvious example as is Strava. There are a few tricks on both these sites to get the most out of your rides. First, go onto the website and type in the area that you want to explore, and this will throw up a number of different segments. Now, find the segments which have been ridden the most. That's normally a good idea that those are roads worth riding, even if it's not quite a guarantee. With Garmin Connect, you can then download to your device any routes associated with that given segment. So, once you've got that and you've decided that it looks quite a nice route, if you want to try it, go to the very top right-hand side of the screen again, and you'll see a little settings icon. Click on that. Send to device, you should have it connected already. It will come up with your device, Edge 1000 in my case. Send now. Garmin Express will load up if you've already got that on your computer. And then the route has now been sent to my device. I personally use a Garmin 1000, but anything from the 510 upwards will allow you to do this. The 510 will have a, a fairly simple trace and line for which you can follow, but anything from the 800 and above, that will give you a detailed map and you can follow that when you're out on your bike. Now you can delve even deeper than that by searching some of the riders who are at the top of the segment leaderboards because the chances are that if they're that fast, they're probably decent riders and know the best local route. So what did they do on that particular ride? What did they do that week or even historically? Delve into that and you're going to find some pretty cool roads near where you want to train. And finally, you can also try using something called a heat map. This is free for Garmin Connect users, but you can also access it if you're a Strava Premium user. It will show you the most popular routes which have been ridden. Now, this doesn't always mean that they're the best routes. It might be that they're the commuter routes into town where people work. But delve slightly deeper, look into some more remote areas, and you could find some cool new roads. To finish your digital snooping, turn to one of the best friends of the pros, Google Street View. If you want to know what a road is really like, this will tell you. We used it extensively, in fact, before we came out here to the south of France for filming. Don't bite off more than you can chew. If you are a relative novice, pick terrain and distance that you know you'll complete. You'll soon gain fitness and your ability to ride faster, longer and over more challenging terrain will improve. 3. How far from home should I go? 